Namaste. Today, in this video, we will be discussing about the complete pivoting method to solve the given linear equation by using Gauss emission method. Okay, so let us consider an example 4x plus y plus z equals to 6, 3x plus 2y plus 2 z equals to 7, x plus y plus 8z equals to 10. Okay, so in complete pivoting method, we have to check the coefficient of x, y, and z, and the maximum coefficient is 8. So the z part is brought forward. So it can be written as like Okay, for okay, eight z plus x plus y or eight z plus y plus x equals to ten. Yes, so next one is two z plus three x plus two y equals to seven. Next one is z plus y plus 4x equals to 6. Yes. So, now this is the checking the value which coefficient is greater. It is z. So, now we use the partial pivoting. So, the largest value in this column is 8. Yes. So, largest coefficient. So, we interchange this equation with first one. So, that is 8z plus x plus y equals to 10 and 2z plus 3x plus 2y equals to 7. So, this equation comes downwards. z plus y plus 4x equals to 6. So, now augmented matrix becomes 8, 1, 1, 10. Yes, 2, 3, 2, 7, 1, 1, 4, 6. Now we use the normal Gauss simulation method. So we have to convert this to 0, this to 0. So for converting this, 2 and 8, LCM is 2, sorry, LCM is 8. So we have to convert R2 by using 4 times R2 minus R1. 8 and 1, LCM is 8. So, R3 is converted into 0 by multiplying it by 8 and subtracting it by R1. So, let us use the calculator again. Okay, R2. X is equals to 4 times, okay, R2 is B minus R1 is A. Okay. R3. Let us suppose it has Y. Y equals to 8 times R3. So, C minus A. R1 is A. Okay. So, let us calculate it. Okay. I am writing the upper terms. So, 8, 1, 1, now, what is the value of B? It is 2. Okay. A is 8. And C is 1. So, it gives first at 0. And second row, third row at 0. Now, again, B is 3. A is 1. C is 1. So, it gives... 11 and 7 okay again 2 and 4 yes so b is 2 a is 1 c is 4 so it gives 7 and 31 okay it's 2 is 2 and last one is B is 7, A is 10, yes, and C is 6. So, we get it as 
18 and 38. So, this is the new augmented matrix after changing the rows like this. Now, this coefficient are this part are 0, so we have to convert 7 into 0. So, for converting 7 and 11, the LCM is 77. So, R3 is 11 times R3 minus 7 times R2. Okay. So, we can write it as x equals to 11 times okay, R3 means C minus 7 times B. Okay. So, let us copy the above matrix 1, 1, 10, 0, 11, 11, 7, 18. This is 0. Yes. So, this become, must be become 0. That means so c is 7 and b is 11 it gives 0 c is 31 and b is 7 it gives 292 ok 38 so 38 b is 7 18 it is 2 9 2. So, by backward substitution 2092 to z is equals sorry not z the third part is not z it is what was its okay uh, 4x here is 4x it is not 4x it is sorry I have interchanged this part okay this is a mistake part uh, okay let us correct the question it is 4y it is x okay 4y say 4y it is x so z is last part is y yes 4y is equals to 292 therefore y equals to 1 similarly 11 x plus 7 y equals to 18 we get x is also 1 okay similarly 8 x plus sorry 8 z plus x plus y equals to 10 and we get it as z equals to 1 so we have found the value of x equals to 1 y equals to 1 and z equals to 1 Okay. So, we have solved the linear equation by using complete pivoting method. Okay. In, next, in next video, we will be discussing about the Gauss-Jordan method. Okay. For today, thank you and bye-bye.